Warren Buffett is one of the richest men in the world. One of the key components of his success has been his ability to understand company financial statements. In this session, I will introduce you to the core financial statements. Let's start with what financial statement means. The purpose of financial statements is to provide the information about company's financial position and performance of the business. In nutshell, it talks about what are your assets. It lists all the assets business is invested in like property, plant, equipments, financial assets and so on. Next. What are your liabilities? It includes liabilities like bank loan, lease commitments and so on. Further, it asks the most important question. How much money did you make? It measures the profitability of the business. Financial statements are prepared by accountants and audited by various firms and government agencies for accuracy. Every company listed on stock market must produce three core financial statements each quarter. There are various sources that provides free access to financial statements. This includes company website under investor relations or various financial websites. In India, you can access financial statements on NSE or BSE website as well. In United States, you can access on SEC website. Now, you know when and where to find company financial statements. Let's learn about what are different financial statements. There are three core financial statements. Income statement. Balance sheet. And cash flow statement. Each statement serves a specific purpose. Together, it contains significant information about a company's financial health. I will cover details of each statement in later sessions. In this session let's get introduced to each statement to develop high-level understanding. Let's start with income statement. It is also known as statement of profit or loss. The objective of income statement is to ask the question, how much money you made last quarter or year? Income statement has four main components. It starts with sales or revenues. It talks about how much money you made through sale of products or services. Then comes the expenses. It is the expenses associated with manufacturing and selling of products or services. It includes several line items like expenses associated with cost of goods sold or service provided, advertising, sales and marketing, interest on debt, depreciation, and taxes. The third line item is net profit. The net profit is calculated as sales or revenues minus expenses. The next line item is earnings per share. This is also called as EPS. It is calculated as net profit divided by number of shares. Till now, sounds simple. I hope, it is. The next financial statement is balance sheet. Balance sheet reports companies' assets, liabilities, and equity. Assets are the things that company owns. It includes property, plant, machinery, vehicles, land, inventory, financial assets like cash balance, investments and so on. Liabilities are the things that company owe. It includes company long-term or short-term loans, payable to vendors for raw materials or providing services, lease liabilities related to land, building or equipment, tax dues and so on. The next line item is shareholders' equity. Let's look at balance sheet equation. The company's total assets should always be equal to total liabilities and equity. In other words, assets minus liabilities is equal to shareholders' equity. Let's summarize the balance sheet. Assets represents what you own as a company. Liabilities represents what you owe. Assets minus liabilities is shareholders' equity. It represents the company's net worth. This is the money belonging to company shareholders. This is also called as book value of the company. Last but not the least. 
Let's get introduced to the cash flows statement. Cash leave and enter the company due to various activities. These activities are broadly classified as below operating activities, investing activities, financing activities. Let's start with operating activities. It refers to the activities related to core business operations. It talks about how much cash company earned due to sale of products or providing services. It includes cash entering or leaving due to activities like revenue from sale of products or providing services, expenses, taxes, depreciation, amortization, and so on. The next line item is investing activities. It refers to the activities related to investing to seek benefit at later stage. In short, it talks about how much and where company invested cash. It includes cash entering or leaving due to activities like purchase of property, plant, equipments, etc. It also includes cash leaving due to purchase of financial investments like fixed deposits, mutual funds, equity shares, and so on. Let's review the next line item financing activities. It includes activities related to cash raised or cash paid back to the investors. In short, it talks about how much new cash company raised or returned to the shareholders. In other words, it includes amount of money entering company through debt or issuing new shares. It also includes cash leaving company due to dividend paid to the shareholders and share buybacks. At this point, it is good enough to get introduced to the three core financial statements. There are separate sessions that covers deep insight on each financial statement. Thank you.